Yellowstone supervolcano thermometers soar to the highest temperatures in 800,000 years. And what does that mean for us humans? So that's almost a million years. Yellowstone is experiencing its warmest period in thousands of years and the outlook for the park future looks really equally grim. Recently published climate assessment warns of this. Yellowstone National Park, home of the world famous Yellowstone volcano, which has had three super eruptions 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, 640,000 years ago were these super eruptions. It's had a lava eruption 70,000 years ago and another 80 eruptions since then. Now, uh, not one caused by the eruption is of its volcanic caldera, but rather one caused by devastating effects of global warming. National Park, home to Yellowstone Volcano, is standing on the brink of an inferno. And according to a recently published Greater Yellowstone Climate Assessment, GYCA, it's a report on the state of climate change in the park. Yellowstone is experiencing some of the highest temperatures in human history. In a worrying state of affairs, temperatures across the park are presently as high or even higher than at any point in the last 20,000 years. And more alarmingly, the park appears to be going through its warmest period in 800,000 years. Temperature data collected since the 1950s show. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Temperature information collected since the 1950s show average temperatures in the park have risen about 2.3 degrees Fahrenheit, 1.2 Celsius. This figure comes dangerously close to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change warning about the impact of 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit of global warming. Now there are those that say there is no such thing, others say there is, others say they have a consensus, others say well no they, they rely on facts. So we'll just say climate change what, these, what this article says. And uh, Now the revelations paint grim pictures for the park Scientists predicting Yellowstone risks turning into a tinderbox ready to go off because, as we know, uh, there's a lot of pine trees there, a lot of trees with a lot of resin. And, uh, what, and, and Yellowstone in the past has had, had, has had uh, forest fires, by the way. So rising temperatures will lead to warmer winters, hotter summers, and the easier loss of snowpack, reducing water availability, which is perfect conditions for increased wildlife potential sorry, wildfire potential, as we said. So the report says this condition combined with increased tree mortality potentially could alter future fire regimes and lead to rapid changes in forest ecosystems. And I we noticed one of the latest uh, videos I uploaded concerning the uh, Upper Geyser Basin where we have Old Faithful, we saw, I, I noticed there were a lot more dead trees. We also noticed a lot of steam going off in the walkways where the tourists walk on. The tourists are said, don't go off the walkway because it's very dangerous. So with these steam areas around, along the Upper Geyser Basin were just steaming all along the walkways. Um, and of course, it's not just steam, it's also the volcanic gases in that steam. The rotten egg smell is the sulfur. There's also carbon dioxide coming out. From what I remember, there's 45,000 tons a day emitting from, of carbon dioxide from Yellowstone supervolcano alone, 45,000 tons a day. Now, rising temperatures will lead to warmer winters, wildfire potential, conditions uh, of tree mortality. Uh, now, the, sub, the, the sustained changes in climate and fire disturbance will also affect the recovery of species after fire, changing forest compositions, possibly converting forests to grasslands at lower elevations. And this uh, increased fire activity 
portends large ecological changes and threatens human health and the communities in the greater Yellowstone area. Established March 1st, 1872, the Yellowstone Park has the honor of being recognized as the world's first national park. It covers an area of nearly 3,500 square miles and the park stretches across the northwest corner of Wyoming and into the neighboring Idaho and Montana. It's hailed as one of the most beautiful and iconic features of American landscape and is looking the, the park is a future is looking increasingly uncertain. The impact of man-made climate change leaving its toil on Yellowstone affecting not only wildlife but also communities. The region's agricultural sector feeling the impact with the growing season now being two weeks longer than in the 1950s. Worse yet, scientists project the growth growing season is only going to become longer and warmer in the future. Rising temperatures have already led to decreased snowpack at high levels of 5,000 to 7,000 feet and have accelerated the die-off of certain tree species. Warmer temperatures help invasive species break out and can affect the fish spawning by affecting the rate of snow melt. The bison herds, one of Yellowstone's most iconic animals, are being affected by shifting grassland habitats and food availability for songbirds is being challenged as well. So uh, going forward, Superintendent of Yellowstone National Park said climate change is one of the biggest threats to transboundary conservation efforts within the greater Yellowstone area. The Yellowstone Climate Assessment is an excellent synthesis of the best available science and serves as the basis for discussion and common understanding among agencies, organizations, and the public in finding solutions to climate change at a regional scale. Now the consensus is climate change is being driven by human activity. The leading cause of global warming understood to be the emission of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane, CH4. Global temperatures have been steadily on the rise since the Industrial Revolution of the late 18th century, as we know. So this is uh, on Express UK by Sebastian Kettley. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.